Hey guys, Audrey Cleo here, and I'm going inside the set of ABC Family's The Fosters and getting a preview of all the drama going down in season two. Sierra, thank you for hanging out with me on Not Your Bed. Yes, of course. Thank, thank you for your time. It's very comfortable, though. <laughs> I really like this. David Lambert, hello. Hello. This is a really nice kitchen. Does your kitchen look like this? Uh, no, I wish my kitchen was half as nice as uh, the Foster's <laughs> kitchen. We are in Jesus and Jude's room, correct? We are. Last time I talked to you, it was only you. It was only Jesus. And now you're sharing your living space. How's that going? It's been um, it's been just a, a fun start to season two, and to, to just see where the characters have gone since season one yeah. is, is a lot of development. and. And it's just, it's just been a lot of fun to get to work with this cast and, and to just go on this ride. I was just hanging out in your TV bedroom. Oh, pretty cool. Yes. Pretty cool space that Jesus and Jude share. Yeah, no, it's pretty big. What's it like uh, sharing a room like that? Do you share a room at home? I do share a room. I have a younger brother. Okay. I'm the oldest and I share a room and it's not too bad. Hanging out with me now, Maya Mitchell who plays Callie. Callie had a very big first season. Yeah. Preview for me what's in store for Callie this season. The last season was leading up to this adoption. Will she get adopted, will she not? And then literally the day that she's about to get adopted, she finds out that Donald, who she thought was her father, was not actually her birth father. So she's gonna now have to go on this kind of journey of whether she even, you know, wants to dig into her past. What's coming up for Jude at the beginning of season two? A lot of things are changing for him, obviously. Jude takes some changes um, mm. that are very interesting and, okay. and are very shocking to most people. Um, we don't really know why he takes these changes in the beginning, but we start to figure out towards the end of the season. In season two, Jesus um, has a girlfriend and he's okay, just, he's right. just been struggling uh, with the ladies and in, in the terms of I find of that work. really hard to, I mean. And with the, <laughs> with the women, Jesus is just having a hard time. But I think uh. it's something that he'll work towards. And okay. I think it's something that he'll get better at by season two. And what about his relationship with Mariana? I think Jesus and his sister are inseparable. Um, and the two of them really show their connection in this season. Mariana is going to go through a big change. Um, okay, it sounds mysterious. I know, I can't give anything away, All but right. you're gonna see her become more involved in school and Good get more involved, yeah, get more girlfriends. And okay. Those those girls will kind of influence, you know, um, what she, who she wants to be who, and um, I don't know, I, I can't really give too much away. If you had to pick a real life sibling, from anyone in the cast, who would it be? If I had to pick someone from the cast yes. who I, I guess um, you'd want to be related to, I guess I'm really to. close to. Mm -hmm. I would I would probably say David. The two of us are almost like brothers. Uh, I'd probably go with Sierra. I'd probably have to go with Maya, just because we already act like sisters. If you had to choose somebody from the cast to be your real sibling, oh. who would it be? Um, Terry Polo. <laughs> Sierra said you. <laughs> no, I changed it back. <laughs> yeah, I think Sierra, because she already she felt like my sister before <laughs> before she became my fake sister. So well, not to put her on blast. She said Maya. Did she say so, Maya? So you know you it's can change fine. your mind it's, if it's, you want. Um, All right. Well, let's take a closer look. You are going to take me inside your TV house. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm excited about right. this. This, okay. this is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So this is. Um, a lot of time spent in the kitchen. Over here is like a little nook. It's kind of like this little study area. Um, a little dark in here right now, but you know, this is, I guess the siblings would do like homework in here and stuff. This is kind of the foyer area. And, okay. Um, there's a lot of scenes that happen here actually. This is all honestly one set. Like it's, we usually kind it's of- It's like a real house. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this is all just like the first floor of the house. It's kind of cut in half. And then on the same stage is also the top floor of the house. They've just kind of separated them. So like these stairs right here lead nowhere. You'll probably see us going up these stairs and we're acting like we're going to our rooms and we're going nowhere. Uh, it's all part of the illusion, guys. TV you know. magic. <laughs> One and only living room here. Living um, room. It's kind of a little mess right now. I think, I think it's probably left however we last used it, honestly. That's kind of how it goes. Where you were folding laundry? Yeah, I guess someone was folding laundry. What's this? You know. Is this yours? Um, let's see, we we're got some pictures. Yep. So this is from, I guess, the quinceanera episode. Adorable. And there's actually pictures all around this house. Um, yeah, I guess there's more pictures. Here's this piano, actually, in the, um, in the intro. Uh, the title credits of the Fosters, it's this piano. 
Wow, is it um, in tune? And you play because you do a I lot. Do play. Of, you, you do a lot of your own. Unfortunately, on the show. this key, uh, this this piano sounds like that. Oh no. And so this is our patio, and it's kind of cool because you know we can literally film a scene starting at the front door, and we can just walk right in to the house, right. and now you know it's it, everything's fully functional. You come out of a set and you're suddenly just on a soundstage, which is kind yeah. of amazing. I don't know, it's kind of this super like Hollywood surreal kind of thing every time. When we started, it was just the downstairs and just the upstairs. Yeah. And now we have a few different additions, mm -hmm. some we haven't seen yet. Oh. But uh, Mike's uh, is a new one that we have seen, so oh, it's kind of cool. Super interesting. Hello, hello, Maya Mitchell. <laughs> What's going on? I'm doing a tour right now. I've got a camera in my face. Everything. Like what? Everything. All the nooks and crannies. All the secrets, everything. <laughs> this is my favorite part of any set. Yes, craft service. Yes. It's where you spend all your time looking for things to eat, but you don't know what you need. You want a tea? I would like a tea, please. Thank you. <laughs> the pomegranate, please. I guess okay. I mean, this this concludes, I guess, the craft service. I want to service. tell her to hurry up with the tea. Yeah. How's that tea going, Maya? It's not, and you're distracting me. <laughs> what we're doing right now is a prime example of how it would be on a soundstage. Yeah. Just, it would be us standing here at Crafty having some spa water, mm -hmm. talking about Eating your carbs, things, you waiting know. for Maya to fix our tea. Always waiting on Maya. This is what I was saying, like every Maya, so often Maya, tea! <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to eat too much before like, a, like a, you know, a heavy scene or something like that. Oh, I think our tea is ready. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, I had to interrupt your rant. There that's you that's great, this, it's I a think, surprise. Oh, okay, let's Thank see. you so much, Maya Mitchell. One of them's gonna be super sweet. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> It's fine, it's really hot. This is actually the beginning of the upstairs right here. There's an interview going on over there. But this is the mom's bedroom. Now we're in Brandon's room. And uh, you know, I've got an awesome poster of Gandalf. So like, what, up, what yes. else can I ask for? You go through the beads. These were your, these were your idea, no, weren't they? And then <laughs> behind the beads, there's usually like a keyboard and your stuff. Your TV mom has some things to say to, to say yeah. you. Yeah, hi Terry Paul. Get out of that room right now. <laughs> What? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, right I'm, I'm showing them around. This young woman? I'm showing them around. You stay. Your bedroom, young man. I find that highly inappropriate. Back but downstairs into the safe zone. Kind of I want to be yelled at by Terry Polo. It's always. Especially it's... when I'm in my cat pee <laughs> So when can I move in? I know, right? I, I I'll let you know when I do. Okay. When, right. Whenever they're accepting invitations. Okay. I got dibs on Mike's couch. Do by it. Yes. Yeah. Smart. Ha <laughs> ha